Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for March 12th, 2018. For your Monday, we're going to have a third of three nor'easters that are going to be affecting parts of the region today, but we're just going to get a little bit of a graze today. This is going to be a big deal for our area. It will be a big deal for eastern New England, southeast New England, and up into Maine, up in these areas right here. But uh, this system is going to start off near the Carolina coast. It's going to be too far offshore, I think, to really affect this area. This is going to head up in this direction. Uh, maybe not that sharp. Maybe it might be more, more like this. But the whole idea here is that uh, the areas south and east of this line are going to get into um, into some of the heavier snows in our area. We'll just be on the western fringe of that and just get into the lighter stuff right here. So we're going to move this forward here from this point. This is looking at this morning. I don't think you're going to get anything this morning. Once we get in the afternoon, we get some light rain slash snow showers coming in during the afternoon. The upper levels are very cold, so it's not an issue of how much cold air is involved. There's, there's definitely cold air to support snow falling. But snow falling and snow sticking are two different things, especially when we're in the middle of March and you need some really heavy rates in order to get that snow to come down and stick uh, and overcome the, the otherwise marginal surface temperatures. So if you're not getting the heavy rates, you're not getting the heavy snow and you're not getting the sticking snow. So this is not, not a repeat of March 1st and 2nd. It is also not a repeat of March 7th. Completely different. And that's because this system here is heading way out here like this. All right, a little bit too far off the coast. If it was out here, different story. Different story altogether. Then you can get some heavier banding in the interior, just like we saw here on the on the last Wednesday. That is not going to be the case today. This is too far off to, offshore, and uh, this is running out of time to the point where it can come west. This is not, if you're looking for a miracle, uh, you could probably stop doing that because you're you're really not uh, expecting. Uh, this to shift all that much right now. Now, once we get into the overnight hours, if you have that any rain snow mix, is going to transition over to snow showers if it hasn't done so already. And you might get on the northwest fringe, you might get a, some, you know, a steadier rainfall or excuse me, snowfall in these areas. Uh, but this is still not heavy. We're not getting to the heavy dynamics. Heavy dynamics for the system, system is going to be right here, offshore. Okay, so you're not going to get into that heavier rates stuff we saw on Wednesday. And uh, this is just going to be light to moderate. But the fact that it's falling overnight gives you a little bit better of a hope for some non-paved surface accumulations, especially in areas of elevation. And I think that's where we're going to basically concentrate on here for uh, the highest areas. We could get some coatings in some areas. Uh, I think it's going to be just like this. Areas just in here like this. North of that line, right inside here, uh, you could have... Uh, a coating or better on non on paved uh, surface accumulations, and then once you get up within that range there, within that circle, you get up in the higher elevations up here above northeastern portions of northeast PA and northwest New Jersey, Sussex, Warren, Morris, places like that. You could get into uh, maybe an inch or two. All right, that's it. That's all we're looking at. And this is out of here. This is going to be a nuisance event. Uh, out of here pretty quickly. Once we get to Tuesday, maybe just a very morning, early morning, early morning, probably uh, right around dawn, uh, a few snow showers left over, and then we'll be uh, remaining mostly cloudy the rest of the day as this system really winds up and wraps up again. This is going to be a pretty big storm for southeastern New England uh, for these areas south and east of there. We're going to get some pretty good snows as this thing really ramps up, but that's going to be New England storm, not ours. All right, not this time. Here is the NAM uh, high res future simulator radar starting off at 2, 2 p.m. on uh, Monday. Again, rain, snow mix, maybe just light, just not really a big deal here uh, through the evening. Here's 5 o'clock, here's 6, here's 7, here's 8. Really not much going on here, folks, at this point. Just some very light stuff, barely making it to the ground. All right, temperatures aren't really very mar they're very marginal. The 32 degree line is way up to the northwest. This is now coming in on 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 midnight. You could have some snow, maybe basically just eastern Pennsylvania and uh, parts of New Jersey. But you can see where the 32 degree line is here at 2 a.m. overnight. It's way up here like this. This is the 32 degree line. So everything up here is definitely sticking uh, on the uh, on the grass. And it's kind of marginal through the Lehigh Valley, south and east of there. White rain. White rain means rain, uh, snow falling, not sticking. That's what we think is most, for the most part, is going to happen here in uh, central and southern New Jersey. So not expecting too much there. And then this moves away early Friday. This is uh, now eight o'clock on uh, 
on Tuesday morning, starting to pull away at this point, and then it's out of here. All right, so that's what we're dealing with. Not not much, just like what I said, maybe coating or better on the non-paved surfaces, inch or two in the higher elevations. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, global models here, move forward from this point, and uh, we're going to have some wraparound snow here that's going to come in here on uh, on Monday as this system, or excuse me, on Wednesday as this system retrogrades uh, backward here across Nova Scotia and into uh, near Maine. But you're going to have some few snow showers. Remember how it was on Monday? Monday we had a few flurries and uh, snow showers, maybe some snow squalls. There's going to be another repeat of that, I think, here on Wednesday. That's what we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, so that's Wednesday. Going further from that point, we dry out the rest of the week. It looks like uh, here is Thursday. Nothing going on except partly cloudy skies. Here is Friday. Uh, nothing going on but partly cloudy skies. Saturday, same thing. Uh, probably mostly sunny here on Saturday. And then uh, the GFS is actually trying to bring some rain in here by Sunday. I think this holds off to Monday, though, probably later on Monday. So we're going to go partly cloudy here on Monday, even though the GFS is trying to bring some precipitation in here early. Not seeing that happening that early. Uh, so we should have a nice weekend. We will re-examine this over the next couple of days, see if the GFS, which is typically progressive and moving things along pretty quickly uh, as a model bias, uh, trying to bring this stuff in here already on Sunday. I don't think it's that early. We will have a system to deal with over the 18th, 19th time frame, uh, but this will be rain this time. You see all the greens on the map here. That's because it will be milder at this point. Temperatures in the well into the 50s, it looks like, over the weekend. I'm Easter PA with Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. So that is your outlook for March 12, 2018. Have a great Monday.